Hi everyone, this is Key. Welcome to my video blog. In this uh, video, I'm going to be showing you a browser tip, um, a tip that can help you use the internet, especially if you're using a laptop or a desktop, to be able to read articles in a way that is a lot easier on your eyes, easier on your comprehension, and you actually get a lot more done. Now, most of you, from time to time, get articles or things you need to read, things you have to follow through. And sometimes the computer is not the best place to read it. I've seen people see the article, they print it first so they can read it and highlight it and stuff like that. And that, that's one way of going. I just want to show you a trick that I think can help you. So... So this trick is actually going to be spread out to all of the browsers, but I personally like uh, the way one specific browser does it. Now, the reason I, it's important to me is because I read a fair amount of articles. I read all the time. Every day I have to read three to eight articles because I specialize in you know, in training agents uh, on internet marketing, SEO, web services, uh, prospecting, branding, all of these ideas that are connected to the success of a realtor and a broker, uh, especially with the internet, there's a lot of changes. I'll give you an example. One of the things I was working on uh, this morning was the changes what that WordPress is doing to their platform when it comes to blogging. Now, they're not major changes, but I have to keep up with them because when I'm teaching, let's say, how to meta tag your blogs properly, I see with the latest article so I know if they change the position of the title tag, the what's called the uh, categories, if they change them around, I'm able to show that to the agents so they can keep up a few months back. Uh, Google Plus was shut down, but Google Maps took on some of the, uh, what I call, systems that were connected to Google Plus. So there was a lot of articles that were written about it that shows how if you were a business and you had the Google Plus account, they merged it with your, your Google Maps location which, which they call now Google Local, and Google Local now has some of the attributes of Google+, Plus, but you can't log in through there. You have to have a new login. I know, it's technical, but the main thing is I have to read a fair amount of articles just to keep up with the changes that happens with the Internet on a daily basis. So, I function, I work with uh, five browsers. But two of them are my primary. I use, for example, Google Chrome for all of my what I call communication. Emails, texts, uh, contacts, uh, Google Docs, anything that has to do with communication, with maybe Google AdWords, uh, with uh, Google Console, anything that has to do a login to a web service that is entails some communication, communication, I use Google Chrome. Whereas I use Firefox, Mozilla Firefox to be exact, uh, to do all of my other uh, work on the internet. Example, blogging, uh, social media, uh, programming, uh, reshaping uh, sites, which call working on CSS code. I use Mozilla Firefox because it has a lot of tools. And, and I use also Firefox to read articles because it has a feature that works really well. Now, I've heard that Google Chrome is testing this feature in the near future. I don't know when they will release it. I'd rather work with what I have right now. And the one that has the readability right now is... Mozilla Firefox. By the way, both of them are free. 
whether you use a Mac or a PC, you can just download those uh, programs. So, what is it? Well, there is a function key. When you are in Mozilla Firefox, there is a, uh, there is a function key called F9 if you press it. Or if you toggle the reader view, it will make the words and the, read, uh, the readership so much better. You can read the text without having to worry about the ads, without all of the things flashing. I mean, you've been to websites, right, where there's articles. Well, they have a lot of ads. They have this video flashing over here. They have this gizmo telling you to register here. There's a lot of nonsense that is around the article. By using the reader view, you close that, you, you basically shut that all off. But you do one more thing. I'll show you in just a second. What it will do also is allow you to uh, customize your view so that when you're reading, it's easier on your eyes. And it's a simple thing. So why don't we look at it together so you know where it is? It looks like this. So let me switch to Mozilla Firefox. So I am in Firefox right now. And I'm going to resize myself and put myself a little bit lower so that you know, I'm out of the way, so I'm going to move this over here. Um, so this is, for example, Forbes.com. Forbes.com has excellent articles. For example, uh, they have a lot of articles that deal with uh, what I call uh, leadership. I like to read some of them. So if you go to leadership here, they will show you um, – Articles that were written recently about readership. So, for example, you could read about the recession warnings. You could read, for example, it might surprise you where the tech jobs are, uh, the top 10 tips for brands and their social media. So let's, let's take, for example, this article. Let's say I want to read it. Now, notice what's happening. There's this box that says allow notification. And then there's this graphic here where it's going to start the video. Do you notice that there's a lot of hoopla? Well, if you look carefully in the, uh, and there's, of course, this one, they want you to register. If you look carefully in the URL, in the web address right here, you will notice this thing that looks like reader. And if I put my mouse over it, it says toggle reader view. I can press F9 on my computer or I can toggle the reader view. Also, you can use the view here under view in Mozilla Firefox. You can go to enter reader view. So what happens when I do that? Well, let's try it. When I click that, it changes the view. Notice that thing that was asking me to register is gone. Notice that ad video that was there is gone. Notice that all of the noise is gone. Not only that, it gives me the title. Plus, it tells me who wrote it, and it also tells me how long it takes to read it. It's four to six minutes to read it. It will keep some graphics that are relevant to the article, and I can read it. Now, the first time you log in to this, the first time you toggle it, so you toggle it by turning it on. Notice when I toggled the uh, uh, reader view, it turned blue. If I toggle it again, it goes back to what it was. And notice what it was. There's this thing asking me for notification. There's this ad right here. And as I scroll down, the text is small. It's against white, which is not really legible for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. And I can customize it. This is the beauty of the reader view is you can customize it to your need. So, for example, I use a dark background because for me, reading uh, white on gray is easier on my eyes. So I can go in here. You see where it has uh, the, the AA here? This is you select whether you want to be in light mode, which I don't like personally, dark mode, which I prefer, or sepia mode. Some people like sepia mode. I like dark mode because it works for me. Second thing I do, I can decide whether I want to read my text as serif, sans serif, meaning without serif, so the text being like this, or I can read it with serif. So if I prefer reading like this, it changes it. 
If I want the text to be larger, I just increase it here. If I want it to be smaller, I decrease it here. This decreases it. This increases it. If I want to uh, increase the content width, I can use this. If I want to decrease it, I can use this. I prefer to read all out, and I like to use sans serif for my reading, but you can use serifs, and notice what's happening. Now I'm focusing only on the text. I'm not bothered by advertising. I can actually write. I can have my notebook. I can write what I'm uh, reading. It is so much easier to read for me. Also, if I do not, if I don't want to uh, read it and I want to listen to it, it has another feature in here where you can actually play the art article. Seven perform competitive analyses. Look at the content core competitors are creating and sharing on social media. Outside of traditional competitors. I'm going to stop. So if you start from the top and you hit, let's say you start from here and you hit this, you can start listening to it. Social media managers are kind of like journalists. They are expected to become experts in any one trending area instantly. Or you can speed it up. Social media managers are kind of like journalists. They are expected to become experts in any one <laughs> trending area instantly. Yesterday was Facebook Live. Or you can go slower. Social media managers are kind of like journalists. They are expected to become... Ex now, most of you may not use the audio version, but it's nice to know that it's there. But what I like is how clean this is. The dark mode with the gray, white, gray text is the easiest mode for me to read. Allows me to focus on what I'm reading. There is none of that uh, noise. Notice the difference. This versus this i mean which one would you prefer now some of you handle this very very easily there's a lot of movement and and that's fine you can do that but for me i just want to read the article finish it and then move on so let's look at another one so for example this is a uh, harvard business review hbr.org it's a great website to read they're, they tend to be very tedious, uh, what I call articles. So um, let's look at this article, for example. If I'm in this article, this is what it looks like. Text is small. You know, this is what it looks like. Well, he, guess what? I want to read it. I'm going to change the view. And when I change the view, it is so much more legible for me. I can follow along and I'm able to absorb and I actually read faster. And the beauty of it is it tells me how long this article is going to take. It's going to take me 8 to 10 minutes to read this article. And what I do is I stack my reading for early in the day and later on on the day. So when I, when I need to focus on important reading or things about programming, it makes it a lot easier for me. I can focus, do it quickly, and not worry about all of the stuff that is going on. So, if, for example, uh, you wanted to follow me, I write blogs every day, and let's say you wanted to find out my blogs. Well, if you go to my website, there's a section here called blog, and under my blogs, you can find my latest blog. So, for example, today's blog is called The Habits Matrix Awareness, Contemplation, Action, and Repetition. Now, reading it this way, it's fine. You can read it. The text is large enough. You can read it. That's no problem. But isn't it better to look at it this way? It tells you that this article that I wrote is about four to five minutes long. It tells you the name uh, uh, of my website. And then it takes you into the article and then you can read it. It's a lot easier to read. It has a few paragraphs. Uh, there's even a graphic. And then when you're done reading, you can comment if you want. If you want to comment and do anything like that, you exit this section, and then you can go to the blog itself, and there's a section for commenting if you want. Now, since I am here, I want to show you one more trick. And this trick deals with taking screenshots 
within Firefox. Firefox has a built-in screenshot maker that allows you to take screenshot of anything you see. And it is right here. You see these three dots next to the URL right here. If you click on that, you will see a thing called take screenshot. Now, this here allows you to take a screenshot of anything. So let's say you wanted to take a screenshot of this or you wanted to drag actually and take a screenshot. It allows you to do it. You can download it. You can copy it. You can get rid of it. You can try it again. Press this. Go to take screenshot. And same thing. It, notice it, it allows you to select. So if you scroll, it allows you to select. Or you can save all of it or save the page or select yourself what you want to screenshot and then save it and you're done. So that's another tip. Um, I hope what I just showed you was fun. It was fun for me. I know that these, util these uh, tips that I work with help me um, get, you know, be a little bit more effective at what I do. Uh, I know that reading is important and having to print and have uh, stacking up all the paper has driven me crazy. This way, I can read, I can follow along, I know what actions I need to take, makes it a lot easier. Um, I hope you try it. I hope to see you in one of my classes. Take care.